hello today i'm going to show you how i'm doing my makeup my makeup is kind of inspired by 90s brunch and also kind of kinder whore because that's the style i'm going for lately so i'm just going to show you how i do my makeup so the first thing i always do is to apply moisturizer and I usually use this one, it's just from the drugstore, really cheap. That's my bunny in the background, he's drinking from his bottle. Yes, so I'm sorry for the noises. So I basically just use it because it has sunscreen in it. I'm just applying that. Then I usually just powder my face or sometimes I also use some foundation but I don't really always use foundation because my skin is already kind of clear so I don't always need it. But sometimes I really like the look of foundation so sometimes I still use it and I think today I'm going to use some foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade uh, Porcelain and yes. So I'm just going to apply that. I always first put it on the back of my hand and then kind of put it on my face. And then I just kind of blend it out with my beauty blender. Now I'm just going to powder my face and I usually use this um, All About Matte Fixing Powder by Essence because it's really cheap, it's probably the cheapest you can get so I basically always just buy the cheapest makeup because I really don't care and half my makeup is probably still from when I was 12 and had like my beauty girl face and was really interested in makeup but then I kind of stopped being interested in makeup and now I'm just using all that old makeup that's probably already expired but I honestly don't really care so I just powdered my face I actually always use a lot of powder because my face always gets really oily because of the moisturizer since it has sunscreen in it now I'm just going to kind of contour my face and I usually either just use this uh, bronzer for that and it won't focus but it is um, by the brand Mislin or sometimes I'm also just using this eyeshadow from this palette that I've also had for years and it's already broken like the that is gone but i think it was by the brand makeup revolution i'm not sure today i'm just going to use this one then i usually use blush and uh, right now i'm using this essence silky touch blush honestly i don't even know if you can still buy that because i've had it for like five years but I guess just any blush would do. It's kind of like this light pink color. Okay, I'm gonna just apply it above my contour. But I also don't always use blush sometimes. I like to just look kind of dead. And I guess blush always adds more life into your face. So sometimes I also leave that out if I want to look more dead. So then I'm usually just doing my eyebrows. And I kind of first like pinch them so they will look a little bit thinner. Because I really like thin eyebrows but I'm still too scared to completely pluck them thin. But I'm probably eventually going to do that one day. For now I'm just kind of pinching them first before I put the eyebrow stuff on it. So 
so that they will look a little bit thinner. And then I'm also just using this like five year old eyebrow powder. I have no idea which brand this is from because the whole package is broken. <laughs> but it's also probably just from Essence, yes. And then I'm using this small brush and just kind of fill it in up bit. Now I'm just going to do my eye makeup and I just use this really old palette and I also use this other palette which is by the brand um, BH Cosmetics and I usually first just use this really light shade just kind of as a base for my eye and just apply it all over my eyelids. Then I'm using this shade, which is kind of a lighter brownish color and just put it all over my eyelid. And I also kind of put it under my eye to kind of emphasize my dark under eye circles. Then I'm just using a smaller brush and I go into this kind of darker brown color and mix it kind of with this other dark brown color and I'm just again applying it onto my eyelid and this doesn't really have to look that good, it can be messy for a grunge makeup so yeah I'm just putting that on. I have honestly no idea what I'm doing because I'm not really the best at makeup. And then I'm usually using this kind of reddish color from the other palette and also just put it all over my eye. Honestly, I don't even have an idea what I'm doing. And then I'm just using this darker brown color and an even smaller brush. I'm just adding a little bit of this dark brown into my crease. Then the last thing I'm doing is just to go into this white color and just apply it onto my lid to kind of make that space like lighter. Then for eyeliner I sometimes do liquid eyeliner but lately I've been just using one of these pencil eyeliners and I just kind of put it on my lash line. But I usually only just put it on kind of until halfway of my eye because if I have kind of hooded eyelids and if I would do it all the way it would kind of look weird. And then to kind of um, blend it out I'm going over it with some black eyeshadow from the palette before. I'm just kind of blending it a little bit in. Sometimes I'm also just adding some black eyeshadow underneath my eye, but today I do not really want to do that, so I'm just going to leave it like that and apply my mascara. So I just use this mascara, um, I guess you can't really see it because it won't focus, <laughs> but it is by the brand Reval Loves Me or something like that, I have no idea. I'm just going to curl my lashes and then apply this mascara. So the last thing I'm doing is to apply lipstick and I always use kind of different ones but my favorite ones are um, Mokalicious by Wet n Wild, Cinnamon Spice by Wet n Wild and this lipstick by L'Oreal in uh, Brick Vintage. And also a really popular lipstick in the grunge community is Cherry Bomb by Wet n Wild. But I don't really use that one that often because I feel like it doesn't really suit me that much. But today I'm just using Mockalicious by Wet n Wild and I usually just apply it with a little brush. And I kind of overline my lips.
So that's basically it. That's how I do my kind of grunge, killer whore inspired makeup and um, I hope you liked the video. If you did you could maybe give it a like or subscribe to my channel. Um, I really want to try to upload more and make videos more frequently. So yeah, I really hope you liked the video and, and see you next time. Bye!